Let's welcome Kathy Holly and Spotlight. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Spotlight. We were swinging and swaying to that music because it reminds us all of Paris, right? It's Frenchy, 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 wee oui, wee. Oui. Well, I'm so glad I have three people here today a director, I have actors. Oh, my goodness, you are going to love the show. This is totally different than what I usually do. They are not rock stars. Well, they might be. Hey, yeah, you're right. You may be. How do I know? <laughs> Actors usually do everything. But I want to introduce you first to Jeffrey Fox. Hi. Who is high, an acting coach and an actor and a director. And we're going to get more into Jeffrey's teaching and his workshop. And now he teaches on Skype and Instagram. Oh, my gosh. So much to talk about, Jeffrey. And over here is Mr. James Allen Brewer, an actor. And Julianti, an actress. Well, we have to get started because this show just flies. So, Jeffrey, yes. uh, first of all, where did you, uh, where were you raised? Um, in New York, Manhattan. Well, New right York away. City. Theater comes yes. to mind in New York. Yes. Stardom. Yes. I can see the stars. Yes. Theater was very important to me. In fact, today I, I still think of myself more as that theater style actor. I, my training has been theater. Um, everything's been theater for me. So um, it's very important to be at the basics of theater, the foundation. Oh, um, so that brings me to how do you get the foundation? I mean, out there, if people want to study acting, what, what would be, is there a method? Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good question. We all laugh about that. Um, I, you know, yes, there, 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 are, there are a lot of, we can get into this forever. Right. There are a ton of techniques out there. There you go. Um, Technique, the, I like that word. For there. the most part, every teacher, every actor is trying to get to the same goal. It's just the same for everyone. So whatever works for you, whatever makes you feel confident, whatever makes whatever is something you understand, mm -hmm. is really what's mm -hmm. going to work best for you. So when I teach, I don't I don't uh, 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 ascribe to any particular technique as much as I look for simplicity. So whatever backgrounds people have, they bring it in, and then we just work on a simplicity without without taking away whatever their training has been. And that's so wonderful because I, I did take a few classes from you and you I did. loved it. You did. That's my I first love is acting me. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> it's acting. Acting me is my first. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's talk about me. Yeah. But, uh, you know, but it is, it, I really felt comfortable and it's great the way you hone in and ha Good. bring out the best in that person for that scene, mm -hmm. right, or for that character. Right. Well, where did you get your training? And you yourself as an actor. Right? Yeah, Let's yeah. Talk well, about that for a minute. Yeah, I've done. I, I I did most of my training at ACT, the American Conservatory Theater great in place. San Francisco, oh, that's a great near place. here. Um, I also was um, for a spell at Juilliard, and then I was also at the Neighborhood Playhouse with Sandy Meisner himself, the oh. famous um, teacher. So I've I have I've I have a sampling of everywhere. You I've do? just been around for a very long time, and then you know you're self-taught. You kind of make up yes. your own thing. Yeah. And so, um, so when I start teaching, like we're saying earlier, I combine all those things, and I made up sort of my own. Which I'm, I'm I, if I have to give a name to it, it's simplicity. Well, now wh you know when you started acting, were you in plays at school? Is this how you got started? Funny, no, I never did any. I, well, I did one play like in, at the end of high school. It was one of those things that I knew I wanted to go into, but it was. I, my family was get your math over with first and get your English. Those are more oh, important. Oh, really? So, uh, you know, it was up to me to decide <laughs> that acting was the most important. So finally, when I was done with that, I, I took off and I, I did all my own stuff. Studying after and training. school and everything with ACT, <coughs> like we're talking about. With yeah. ACT, ACT so, was the so first. So you left the East Coast and came out here to came to, to the ACT till I was done, and then um, oh. got got recommended to Juilliard. Went back to New York and then did my little bit there. So Juilliard is mostly. I always hear about it with in you know in connection with music. Music, right? But you said right. you were also a dancer. I was a dancer. Yeah, I started out about. I probably did that first before acting. I started out about ten years old. And um, I was dancing with, um, with the Pointer Sisters. I was oh, the, I was the youngest great. dancer at the time, That's traveling great. with a band. How wonderful! So it was for fun. You. They what featured a little ten-year-old boy. They featured me, and it was it was fun. It was so a lot. you were in show professional showbiz, and it was on my time. own. Yeah, nobody helped me. I mean, it was one of those things where I wanted to do it, and I got myself exposed in the right places. And, and you auditioned in New York um, for that? No, that was that was in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Yeah. So you would 
moved already right. to life. Well, it, it, in a way, you know, we can we can it's go confusing. forever. When okay, you have a, when you have a background, it. it's like you know. Okay, I also lived a little bit in the Bay Area, right, a little that's tiny true. bit. That's and, true. I yeah. can talk about well, right. You're right. <laughs> I did too. So here we go. But and now you're doing okay. You're giving workshops, which are a wonderful way for actors and out there to really hone their craft. That's yes. really important to keep working at it. I think it's it's the most important thing. Um, you know. Really. So tell us about it. What do you do when you're when there when you give workshops? I hear you also give them on Skype. You told me I do. I do. And in fact, right now I'm mm. focusing a lot a little bit more on Skype. The majority of my students really are Skype. Um, Some of them are in person if they actually live in San Francisco where I live now. Right. Um, Right. But I have I have a lot of Skype students that are across across the water. I have some in London and I have some in New York. And how do you do that though on Skype? Um, well, you know, the, for the you most hand us, you can't hand anyone a <laughs> script, right? <laughs> well, so. you can email scripts, right? I mean, That's you can do true, anything you want true, now. true. You can Nowadays, do that. you can do anything. Yeah, yeah I, um, it, for the most part, uh, Skype is best when there's um, an audition coming up mm-hmm. or a monologue you really want to work on. Although I do have two students who are in New York who actually do scenes together, and, I'm, and I work with them that way. So they, what do they? They must they, hold the phone way back here, right? Well, they they prop it <laughs> and then they walk oh, that's way right, back. Of course. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, actually. so I it's, it's, it's it, you could do it anywhere. I, I would prefer, of course, if I had my druthers to just do it um, yeah, in person. I love in person. Well, and I love it, teaching classes because I enjoyed the workshop. It was at the theater downtown, the uh, the Mason. I mean, the, the Phoenix, Phoenix right. Theater on right. Mason Street, mm-hmm. downtown San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Where is your next workshop? I don't know if you have a place right now, do you? Um, it's, on, it's on hold at the moment because I just do these mm-hmm. four-week increments. And so there's no set date as to when it's going to start or when it's going to end. Right, right you now, have to have a venue, too. Right. It's, usually, it's been the, the Phoenix the whole time I've been in San Francisco, which has been about a year and a half now. It's a great now. venue. I love it. Yeah, it's I like great. it there, too. It's like excellent. It a lot. So people will find out about the workshop and your t- how to get a hold of you for Skype and Instagram teaching by looking at your website. And I know right. we will put that website That's up. But tell us start. again. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jeffrey. Uh, www.jeffreyfox.com. Right. And that'll be on the screen. So for those out there that want to, you know, definitely know more about it. Yeah. I find it fascinating. Instagram, I never do Instagram. <laughs> I don't even know how to do Graham. No, I mean, <laughs> or Insta. Instagram. Yeah, forget the Insta. <laughs> I mean, don't worry, I, I'm tiptoeing okay. through it all too. Every day someone says, you ought to do this too. And so I'm like, okay, I think I'm on something else. I think I'm on something called Pinterest. I don't even know what that oh, is. Oh, yes. But, I'm, but I'm, all, I'm pinning something. Yeah, you are. And that shows you have what you love and yeah. enjoy. Oh, right. That's great. A lot that's of pictures. wonderful. <laughs> well, I, these two wonderful actors that are sitting over here next to me are going to be in a scene that you're going to direct. Yes. So out there, we're going to actually show what happens in a scene but first i want to introduce them james allen brewer you you got it perfectly thank you thank oh my you goodness where did you uh where, where were you raised in all oh, of well, i was raised acting? a lot of different places i started in manhattan beach as a kid by the time i graduated from high school i had gone to 17 schools all over the country you would make <clears> a great <throat> actor because that's what well, actors do is bring every, is all their experience <laughs> it yes. may be able to go into a st- completely unknown situation and connect with people much more quickly and more easily. Maybe give me that kind of facility. Would. That's So great. that helps as an actor to be able to do that. And when did you really get into acting? In school, like probably like everybody here in school originally. And then I left it and was in the uh, music industry for quite a while as a songwriter and producer really? and session person. Well, we should and then got talk. back into it. Did you know I'm into music? I do know, and, and we should talk. We just haven't had a chance to yet. Okay, well, we'll talk but then I, I got back into it and studied with Uda Hagen and oh. Carol Rosenfeld and Bill Hickey back at HB mm-hmm. Studio Bill in New York. Yeah. Then did the Meisner training out here. Well, you've had a great and background. Worked, I did some training at ACT, and now I'm with working with the best of them all, this man right Jeffrey here. Jeffrey Fox. Yes. He's wow. my private coach. This is really great. Lucky it's me. So when, Lucky because me. you've done film and theater. Right. Right. All right. So you've done a little of both. And I know they're both different, uh, you know, totally different. Technically. But, you know, Technically. acting, in my opinion, acting is acting when you get right down to it. It Basically, is. Basically, you right. know. But theater, to me, listening is Listening and responding, being truthful. And more dramatic for theater. But you know what I mean? I had to bring it in when I did something on camera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When people are 100 feet away from you, obviously... They're not going to be able to see all the little minute <laughs> expressions in your face necessarily that they That's would see funny. when the camera is right here. 
So you're right. It, it, it is a somewhat different approach. Different approach, but, but truthful is truthful. You know. both, yeah, there you go. The truth. We have to be truthful. Now, let's let's talk about this lovely lady lovely here, Julie, Julie. Ante. <laughs> where Hello. where did you uh, where were you raised? I guess I was raised mostly Sacramento, mm -hmm. um, California, and but actually I had to go back and forth to New Jersey because mm -hmm. my mother moved to New Jersey when I was twelve. So, did you yeah. study acting back there, or did you study? Really? Yeah. <gasps> that is a really, <laughs> so, oh, that's a very, very oh, yeah, disciplined profession. I was 14, and then I got married, and I'm all good. And then I have my husband, and he's happy. And so, <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get into acting well, then? What happened? Well, did you take a workshop? Or? was an acrobat, a, a acrobat and a gymnast, and he took me out to the Renaissance Fair for his acrobatic show, and he kind of brought me there over you know, season after season, and finally I started auditioning for some shows there, and my senior year in high school, I took a theater class, and really, and got my, that's, that's where I really got the bug. A little bit louder, okay, I got a signal that we have to talk a little bit louder, right? Probably so me. Probably, yeah, everybody, ah. Yeah. Oh. Maybe that was a problem. Yikes. There, we, there go. we go. Can you hear me now? <laughs> we can hear you. <laughs> Repeat all of that. All right. <laughs> right. I was a gymnast, <laughs> and then I went to the Renaissance Fair. <laughs> and you know what? This is uh, I know the Renaissance Fair is always in Marin, right? Isn't well, it? it was. It uh, it's stopped in 98. So, yeah. But they mm. they have fairs all over the country and yes. probably all over the world. And, you know, I did Winnie the Pooh at a Renaissance fair once. Yes, I was in a children's acting group. <laughs> and uh, I did. And, I mean, I wasn't a child. I was, we played right. children. And right. I was Kanga in Winnie the Pooh. Yes, mm -hmm. I was very tall for my no age. Doubt you were I didn't realize Shakespeare. I did Shakespeare class. too, but not not at the Renaissance Fair, but for fun. Well, let's get down to brass tacks here. I understand we're going to do a scene. Yes, we they are. They are going to do this. Scene. Yes, we are. May I make a shameless plug for a feature film? Yes, that of I course. Am in coming okay. out in the fall, it's called very Blood quickly. Relative. Directed by a wonderful director, Michael Freddie and Nelly. All right, we and have to. That'll be out in the fall. Anyway, this is great. I just Thank to get you that for plug telling for us, him. and I want you to write that down because that would sounds terrific. Um, what I want to do tonight is just talk about what you're going to do. What you're going to do a cold reading. Now, for those who yeah, don't yeah. know in the world, what in the world is a cold read? Will you explain, Jeffrey? What uh, we're going to do? Um, yeah, a, a cold read is pretty much um, what happens at auditions. Um, um, mm -hmm. You're lucky if you get this. It's called sides when you have the scene in your hand. What that's what they're holding. It's usually just your scene. Um, yes. If we're lucky, we get the sides the day before or a couple of days before, even better yet. But m a lot of times you get it that day. So you don't. All you have. All you have time to do is sort of look it over, make a quick decision, and just go out and do it. And that's mainly in theater where you get just the script that day. Isn't it? But no, 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 no. All it happens all everywhere. It happens really? everywhere. Because yeah. Even commercial auditions will do, th will do that. Oh, really? Those are the worst. Yeah. Oh, well, commercial. <laughs> but I'm talking about, I guess, live. Well, you never know. Well, yeah. I guess, I, it's I been guess a I'm, long time since I've yeah, auditioned for TV, film, theater. Yeah, yeah it's all about the same. Yeah, yeah. okay. That's, yeah, that's true. So, As, so the so cold part of cold reading means, you know, you're reading it cold. Yeah, you've never you seen it before. You really. haven't seen it, and you've got to just two do minutes. It. It's the hardest way to audition, and I don't know why that's been set up that way, but, you know, it makes acting just harder for us. It does. But it's a, it's a skill we have, right? It's We're true. professionals. And and now this is an example tonight of two actors who this is the first time really they're going to have an opportunity yeah. to act the scene. Right. They just got the scene. And right? so y um, you're going to direct it. Well, first I want them to read it as if there were two actors who came in at an audition. They had no time to rehearse this. They don't know each other. And they've just been put in the room together just to read. We're going to do that first. And then right after they're done, we do what I call in class a redirect which means I will give them a choice to make, and we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, and then they're going to adjust it, and they're going to do their scene again. And Fantastic. We'll see, and we'll this see how, great. again, we talk about simplicity. We'll see how quickly that adjustment will change everything. Oh, this is great. All right. Now, do you want to oh, tell us it's, the scene is Changeling? It's from a film called Changeling. Um, it's about a woman who, whose child disappeared uh -huh. one day. Um, I, I, another child showed up who was not her son, and everybody around her is claiming it is and that she's crazy. Oh, I this is so we have the woman who's looking for her child, and then uh, the policeman, yes. a PI, like, private uh, eye, captain. 
a captain. Cap, police captain. <coughs> and this is them um, having a scene in the in his office. All right. So you can start. You want to say action before we start? Yes, sure. Are you guys all ready? Here we go. Big breath. And action. He's not my son. Mrs. Collins. I don't know who he is or why he's saying he's Walter, but there's clearly been some kind of a mistake. We agreed you'd give him some time to he's adjust. He's four inches shorter than Walter. Boys his age don't shrink. If there's anything, he, he should be taller. Maybe your measurements are off. Listen, I'm, I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. He's circumcised. Walter wasn't. Why are you doing this, Mrs. Collins? You seem perfectly capable of taking care of the child. Your work pays you enough to meet his, his basic needs, so why are you trying to run away from your personal responsibilities? I'm not running away from anything, least of all my responsibilities. I'm even taking care of that boy because right now I'm all he has. What worries me is, is that you stop looking for Walter. Why should we look for someone we've already found? But you haven't found him! Wow, what a powerful scene. scene. Yes. These two are great. They are. Very Julie good actors, and James. Yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> what a difference. I mean, it's just almost as if you have worked this scene. It's amazing. We have, well, that, you know, that, that's, that's the skill of the actor. That's if, right. if everybody can do it, everybody would be doing it, right? That's the, right. The skill, the magic of acting is that there is a skill behind it. And these people, they, these actors, um, they've been around long enough, they're professional Wonderful. enough to know how to see it and then do it. And do it. Well, how are we going to redirect that? Yes. So, so I, w I watch it. I watch it, and I, and I, and I think, okay, what, what concerned me in the scene? What was it about their work that I think is lacking or, or that they can tweak to perhaps make it more of an effective, realistic scene? You want to make sure characters have a chance to um, live in the moment and that they're not just these sort of cartoons running around. You want right. them to be full three-dimensional. Okay. So. So, so when I look at Julie, um, the adjustment I would make, my biggest concern would be, um, this is a woman who, who, who needs to find her son. She's not just some sort of wimpy, pathetic woman who's defeated. Right. She's somebody who needs to find him. And this is a, ti this is a woman fighting in a man's world. Right. This is also, uh, I should have mentioned it's 1940-something. 20. Oh. oh. 1920. So 20. it does give you an added that element helps. about how, where w women were at that yes. time. Yes, so of course. So, so it, it means that women had to be even tougher than perhaps today. To make right? a, yeah, so this to woman, I would say to you, um, don't let us see how, how hurt she is and how scared she is. Okay. Let's, let's make her put that front. Great. The front. The boiling is a pot, right? And on right. top of the boil, the boiling pot, you put a cap. The lid is is going to be Julie trying not to show her vulnerability. Ah. The boiling is that she feels very scared and angry, right? right? So you're going <laughs> to replay it like that. <coughs> okay. Um, James, also, um, you were pretty close, actually, what I would pro to what I would probably say. But the adjustment I'm giving you is um, um, you're probably in on this in some weird way. Because this child has shown up, you're you're saying it's got to be him. It's got to be him. You you know in your head probably it's not. So why are you doing this? Let's pretend like he's playing a game with her. He wants to piss her off enough to be able to take her away. There are the me mental institutions. We're big with women who are hysterical, That's right? Right. The word is considered a, a, a mental condition. It was hysteria. Hysteria. Women hysterical women. Monster. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's scary. Yeah, scary. Right, <laughs> and so we're gonna make the we're gonna make this guy um, try to lead her toward hysteria, so they can put her away. This is wonderful. So let's rerun it. All right. Take a second and get that get that choice clear in your head. He's not my son, Mrs. Collins. He, I don't know who he is. Or why he's saying he's Walter, but there's clearly been some kind of mistake. We agreed you give him time to adjust. He's to the four inches shorter than Walter. Boys his age don't shrink. If anything, he should be taller. Maybe your measurements are off. Okay. Look, I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. He's circumcised. Walter wasn't. Why are you doing this, Mrs. Collins? You seem perfectly capable of taking care of the boy. And your work pays you enough to take care of his personal needs. So why are you trying to run away from your personal responsibilities? I'm, I'm, I'm not running away from my uh, anything. 
least of all my responsibilities. I'm even taking care of that boy because right now I'm, I'm all he has. What worries me is that you've stopped looking for Walter. Why should we look for someone we've already found? But you haven't found him. And that's the scene. Wow, that is a great scene. So a tiny little adjustment. And it made it a now, total difference. Right, it's, it's called a choice. Every character has <clears throat> to make a choice. You cannot create a character without first making a choice. That's, I can see. That's very, very important. And it could have been now, played a hundred different ways. That's the choice. That's the choice we just made. Yeah. Thank and you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You were wonderful. Yes. Thank congratulations, you. both of you. I don't know how much time we have <clears throat> left, but I'm just wondering if it's not 15 minutes or is it? Usually, I get a it's little seven time. Minutes. Oh, how did you see that? <laughs> I'm wearing um, my contacts. <laughs> oh, yeah, no fair, James. <laughs> I'm glad you are. Okay, well, because what I was was going to ask you, if you could explain to the audience, too, a little bit about improv, because we did a little improv when I did my scene. Right. Remember that night? Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was great. That's I love funny. improv. And uh, doing that kind of... You know, mm. it's really great because when you do improv, you show some of yourself for sure. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, I felt mm -hmm. that it, it just made me be more creative in many ways. And improv is like that. Right. Is there any way you could throw something out? We have a few minutes, maybe throw some an improv at these two. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and I mean, you can include me if you want. But you don't have to. Maybe we will. Why not? Why not? You're a wonderful actor as what well. What fun. What um, fun. You typically improv, if you go to improv class, is really meant to be comedy. It's a lot of, yes. there's games, there's a lot Love of playing comedy. around, there's a lot of bantering, there's always agreeing with each other and then adding on to it, all that stuff. Yes and. Um, yes and, exactly. Some people might actually be familiar with that watching the show. Um, but for, for the sake of, of the acting class that I teach, I use the improv when I feel like we're not quite gelling, when something's not quite yes, working. Yeah. So I let the actors run free as their characters would and just kind of come up with whatever they want and see where that would take them and then maybe we'll start the scene right then. And that's a great way to do yeah. it. Yeah. I, I think that's just wonderful. But for the sake of just basic, what basic improv is, let's do that. Just one minute. We have about so a let's minute. So yeah, so let's Two do that. Minutes. Let's do that. So we're going to have, we're gonna have the, uh, the flight attendant. We're going to have somebody who's really in a bad mood and, and is taking it out on the flight attendant. Okay. And we're going to have his wife who is really embarrassed by what this man is doing. Okay, great. Okay. All right, sweetheart. Yes, honey. That's what a wonderful flight. Excuse me, sir. Would you like a beverage? Do I look like I want a beverage? <laughs> Did I call for a beverage? Oh, my gosh. James. Sorry. Um, Excuse me. I, I'm sorry. He's <laughs> overworked today, I think. I'm you not really overworked. I yeah. just want a chance to settle into the seat and not be harassed and bothered by other people. I know, but sometimes he does get it. Well, actually, yes, actually, something for my wife. Oh, if you don't well, mind. That would be so sweet of you. Thank you, honey, for thinking of that. I'll have a little um, a, Cosmo. a Cosmo. Yeah, a Cosmo. Sure they don't make Cosmos on planes, honey. I think. Uh, let me decide. You know, if she's going to tell Cosmos? me. Do you make Cosmos? I believe we have the ingredients. Yes. Good. Okay. Do you know how to make a Cosmo? No, but the lady can make it herself. I mean, are you a bartender? I am not. But Honey, the lady it's can all right. Make it it's all right. Like, no, I she doesn't my know mind. how to make a Cosmo. It's, she can, my mind. Honey, she can barely have, pour a, a, I have a shot. Honey, I've changed my mind. I'm so sorry. I sometimes don't apologize. You know, I no, I, I don't really apologize. you know, I know we're on a flight and I what I can't expect you to make it cost of look at all these passengers. We it's spent impossible. four hours oh getting my gosh. to immigration oh, when we got me. back to the uh, when we got uh, to our know, last flight. He's um, tired. I'm sorry, I have to get Honey, to other customers he, she has to go who on. need to, she has to work. Up oh, we're too much trouble for you. Honey, yes, don't I'm you sorry, what about your seatbelt? Oh suddenly you don't feel well and you know you need to get out of there, but he's not gonna let you. Keep going. You really so don't feel well. You've got to go. an extra blanket and oh, a couple of pillows. Okay. All right. Oh, honey, you don't um, need one. As as don't make faces <laughs> at there's, me. There's I, one up I, I, above. It's not you, sir. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I can I'm, get the blanket. It's right up above. No, no, no. That's her okay, job. Or, no, that's yes, her it's job. Not, honey, I don't mind. Job. I love to stretch. Honey, please. I like to stretch. Honey, please. That's okay. a bad back. It's all right. It's really good for my arms I will get them. I will get them right away. And get her a Cosmo Of course. Right away, sir. Right away. Oh, come on. <sighs> Thank you, your wonderful flight attendant, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to write up. I'm going to yeah. definitely you recommend you. You say that to you. all the flight attendants. No, I do not. I do not. She never met a flight attendant she didn't like. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, what are you honey, making fun of us? Sick. No, she's getting sick. I'm fine. Oh my god, let me press the button. I'm making her sick. No, I'm, I'm, I'm pressing that ask button ask so they come right away. Something else. Oh my gosh, you're not done. Okay. Oh hey, I'm still waiting yeah. for that drink. Uh, I'll be here. <laughs> I'm still waiting. I'm not drinking anymore. <laughs> oh. Oh, I. Oh, oh wait a minute. I have a bag. God. Here it is. Here's the bag. Well, oh, All right, and, uh, and scene. I'm Cut. so sorry. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get any sicker. Oh, so <laughs> see, it's fun, it's fun to throw in like little changes, and then they have more obstacles, right? We're ready for prime time, what can we <laughs> <Yeah>. say, right? <laughs> Saturday night life. I know. Hey, Saturday go. night life. I don't know how much time we have. Do you have your contacts again? Can you help me? Uh, how Shandria? are we doing on time? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. We've got peace, peace symbol. Oh, we got <laughs> two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> Usually, you know, that's why I do keep my glasses here on the side. Sometimes it's fun to wear glasses. Well, you know, what is so much fun, Jeff, uh, Jeffrey, and I really prefer Jeffrey for you. You are a Jeffrey. <laughs> Good. There are lots of names <laughs> in this business, and I want everybody I to know that. That's true, though. I mean, I consider myself a Kathy, and some people say, well, what is your real name, your formal name? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not a Kathleen. Right. That's your name. I'm not a Katie. I'm a Kathy. And you're not a Kitty either, are you? No, I'm not. Oh, no <laughs> way. <laughs> and nor am I a K or a Kate. But, um, oh, my gosh, there are my gigs. Yeah, I want to remind everybody that I will be at Philadest. Uh, I already was there, actually. <laughs> That's Yay. Yeah. But uh, July 16th is Sunday. I'll be at the Sausalito Cruising Club. But by the time this airs, I think it's going to be a little later. Villa Dest, August 7th. Yes. And all of you here in Pacifica, I had a wonderful, wonderful visitor this Monday from two wonderful people from Pacifica. And it was a lot of fun. I One of my students that I used to teach music and and I also did all the shows, you know, down at Good Shepherd. So she came in. Well, I used to produce the shows, and that was fun. I really enjoyed it. It ties in with what we're all doing, you know. Yeah, you use your acting. You use your, hmm, I use my music and all of that. And you said that you sing, too, right? I we did can wrap for many this up years. But I, yeah, I was a singer for many years. And what, what is your voice, do you think? I hear a baritone. Um, Barry Tanner. Barry Tony. Barry Tenor, like Barry, Barry slash Tenor. Oh, yeah. Okay. I kind like of a lyric. high baritone. Yeah. The voice has deepened over the years. Yeah, well, this is great <laughs> because I think both of you sing. You mm -hmm. sing too, Julie. Yes. Mezzo. 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 Alto. Because I, I want to hear you <clears throat> both. I have an open mic, by the way, out there in television land. I will yeah, I produce an open mic once a month. And I'll do an interpretive dance behind them. That would be fabulous. Also dance. <laughs> we could dance while fantastic. I'm singing. Fantastic. I think that would be terrific. <laughs> we should I've do it only, now. I've actually <laughs> thought of doing a cabaret night with dancers behind acting. Why not? Why I not? Mean, we need to get work for everybody. Absolutely. And we are all guns for hire out there. We want you to know um, if you want to hire you know, Jeffrey Fox, you should hire him first because you're going to work on your acting. Start with me. <laughs> and then you can always, of course, give me a call and if you want music or whatever. And then there's James Allen Brewer. His website's going to be up there. And oh, also Julianti. Thank you. And Jeffrey-Fox.com. Yes. Be sure and do that. Yes. And if you're, not, if you're in San Francisco, we could do the classes. If not, please call through Skype and we'll work just as well. That's fantastic. Yeah, he's a great private coach. Yeah.